Hey everybody, you're watching a physio named Jonah. That's this guy. I hope you are feeling ready to get strong and flexible because today we talk about exercises that will do just that. Okay, well I hope you're at least ready to talk about them. Strengthening and stretching are two types of exercises that are used really commonly in the fitness as well as rehab space. Now there are a ton of different exercises and different reasons to do them, but I'm really going to do my best to keep today really clear and focused for you. In today's video, I'm going to be helping you understand the difference between strengthening exercises and stretching exercises. We're going to use some specific examples, and my goal is that by the end of today's video, you will understand how to tell if an exercise is strengthening or stretching just based on the movement and thinking about the muscles involved. If you are new around here, consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell so you are notified when I release new videos just like this one. I am a Canadian physiotherapist who makes videos on physio-related topics like exercises, so if learning about your body and how it moves is interesting to you, come hang out here in the channel, we'll have fun together. Okay, let's start off by explaining what these types of exercises are, and then we'll get into the practical applications with some exercise examples. Put very simply, strengthening exercises are exercises that are focused on increasing the strength of the muscle that is performing the action, while stretching exercises are exercises that are focused on increasing the length or range of motion of the exercise that is performing the action. At no point did I say the explanation was complicated. When we perform a strengthening exercise, the muscle being strengthened is generally focused on shortening or muscle contraction. The exercise usually involves multiple repetitions of shortening or contraction. The muscle also needs to work against resistance, which can be applied with a weight like a dumbbell or just the resistance of gravity on the body. By comparison, when we perform a stretching exercise, the muscle being stretched is focused on lengthening and muscle relaxation. The exercise is usually held for an extended period of time at the end position. Now, I do want to make it clear here that I am deliberately oversimplifying this explanation to start off with so we can get a good grip on what makes an exercise strengthening versus stretching. There are examples of strength or stretching that do not obey the rules that I just laid out, but we will get to that later. You just hold on to that comment if you just started typing something about eccentric exercises, I know and I'll address it later. I think that one of the most confusing aspects of this concept that tends to trip people up is the focus on the muscle in question. If you're unsure of what muscle is being acted upon, well, you can understand the concepts of strength or stretching in isolation, but it's not gonna make a whole lot of sense if you're not applying it to the specific muscle group. Super quick recap as we jump into our exercises for the day, strengthening exercises seek to improve muscle strength via repetitive muscle contraction, whereas muscle stretches seek to improve muscle flexibility via held positioning. Let's start out with a nice easy one to kick us off, the bicep curl. The bicep curl is an exercise that involves repetitively bending the elbow by contracting the biceps brachii. The muscle being primarily acted upon in this case is that biceps brachii. Its repetitive contraction is the focus of the exercise, meaning that this is a strengthening exercise for the biceps brachii. Just picture what that muscle is doing. It's contracting and shortening to lift the weight against gravity and perform the motion. This repetitive action is going to cause that muscle to become stronger at performing that movement. On the flip side, now let's look at a stretch. Let's check out the modified hurdler stretch. Okay, well, stretch is right in the name of this exercise. You already know that it is a stretch, but let's talk about what makes it a stretching exercise. The muscles being targeted with this exercise are the hamstrings muscle group. They rest on the back of the thigh and are lengthened when we lean forwards with a straight knee. We then hold this exercise for 30 to 60 seconds at a time. The muscle being targeted is being lengthened and we're holding the position for an extended period of time. This is what makes this exercise a stretching exercise for the hamstrings muscle group. Wow, look at the flexibility of that exercise model. That's, uh, that's some top tier yogi stuff right there. Those past two examples were starting with an exercise and deciding upon whether or not it was a strengthening or stretching exercise based on what was happening to the muscle. 
Next, we're going to start with the muscle and develop an exercise for that muscle that will either strengthen or stretch it. To try and simplify understanding this, I'm going to use very similar muscle groups to our last example in the hopes that this makes the comparison that much easier. Let's stay in the lower body here first and think about the quadriceps muscle group. The quadriceps muscles are located on the front of the thigh and when they contract or shorten, bring the hip forwards while straightening the knee. This means that in order to lengthen the muscle out, we want to do the exact opposite. If contracting the quadriceps straightens the knee and brings the hip forward, to stretch it, we want to bend the knee and bring the hip backwards. So then, the standing quadriceps stretch would look like this. Picture the muscle across the front of the thigh being lengthened as you hold this position, and why this is a stretching exercise for the quadriceps should become clear. Let's now move our way back to the upper body. The triceps are a muscle group located on the back of the arm. When they contract, they make the elbow straighten. Think of them as the exact opposite of the biceps brachii. If we want to strengthen the muscle that straightens out the elbow, this means that we're going to want to repetitively contract that muscle against resistance, or move the elbow from a bent to a straight position. So then, to strengthen this muscle group, let's use a triceps kickback exercise. Picture the triceps muscle shortening during each repetitive movement and causing the weight to lift backwards and upwards as the elbow straightens against gravity. One last time, just trying to crystallize everything we've gone through today, strengthening exercises are exercises that seek to improve muscle strength by performing repetitive contractions against resistance whereas muscle stretching exercises are exercises that seek to improve muscle length or flexibility by taking a muscle into a lengthened position and holding that position. I really hope that this video helped you understand this concept a bit more, but touching back to something I mentioned earlier, if you're struggling with it, the best thing that you can do is review your anatomy. If you know where the muscles in the body are and what they do, it makes it so much easier to understand why a muscle is shortening or contracting against gravity or lengthening out with any given exercise, which then makes applying the concepts of strength versus stretching so, so much easier. Again, as I mentioned earlier, I did oversimplify for this video, avoiding muddying the water with concepts like eccentric muscle contraction or dynamic stretching, just to make it really crystal clear as to what contributes to a strengthening exercise versus a stretching exercise. If you're interested in learning about either of these a bit more, let me know in the comments section and that could be an option for a future video tackling some slightly more advanced concepts within the stretching and strengthening world. But most importantly though guys, as always, move your body, have a laugh today, and I will see you at the next video.